There are a lot of things we can fix in this world, things we can do something about. We can design the cities we live in, the kind of houses we build, the market, the economy, how many trees we're going to cut, how many fish we're going to catch, the number of children we're going to have. Those things human beings can manage and control because we create them and do them. But some things are facts of life. They are the laws of nature that we have to live with. The speed of light, gravity, entropy, the first and second laws of thermodynamics. Those are things we cannot change and have to work ourselves around. There is a factor that is absolutely crucial. It's a mathematical reality called exponential growth. If something is growing at 1% a year, it will double in 70 years. 2% it will double in 35 years. 3% in 24. 4% in 17 and a half years. Anything growing exponential will double in a predictable length of time. Now, I'm going to show you why all this talk about continuous and unlimited growth in a finite system is unsustainable. I'm going to give you system analogous to the planet. And that's a test tube full of food for bacteria. So the test tube and food is the planet and the bacteria is us. Now I'm going to introduce one bacterial cell to the test tube and it's going to divide every minute. That's exponential growth. So at time zero, at the beginning, there is one cell. At one minute, there are two. And at two minutes, there are four. At three minutes, there are eight. And at four minutes, there are 16, and so on. That's exponential growth. And at 60 minutes, the test tube is completely packed with bacteria and there is no food left. So, we have a 60 minute growth cycle. So when is the test tube only half full? Well, at 59 minutes, of course. Even though it has been chugging along for 59 minutes, it's only half full and only one minute later, it will be completely filled. So that means at 58 minutes, it's 25% full. 57 minutes, it's 12.5% full. And 55 minutes of the 60 minute cycle, it's only 3% full. At 55 minutes, one of the bacteria say, hey guys, I think we have a population problem. The other bacteria say, Paulie, what the hell have you been smoking, man? 97% of the test tube is empty and we've been around for 55 minutes. And they'd be five minutes away from completely filling it. So say bacteria are no smarter than humans. At 59 minutes, they'd say, Oh, Paulie was right. We only have one minute left. What do we do? Well, don't give the money to those economists. They are saying we have to keep growing all the time. Give it to those scientists who've been warning us. So they massively inject money into the scientific community. And in one minute, they came up with three new test tubes full of food. That would be like us finding three new planets that we could use. So what happens? At 60 minutes, the first test tube is full. At 61 minutes, the second test tube is full. And by 62 minutes, all four are full. By quadrupling the amount of food and space, we buy ourselves two extra minutes. Our home is the biosphere. It's fixed and finite. It cannot support our demand for relentless growth. This is not speculation or hypotheses. This is straight mathematical certainty. We are already past the 59th minute. The relentless pursuit of endless growth is leading us down a suicidal path, one that we cannot return from. In this pursuit, we are failing to ask the important questions. How much is enough? Is this pursuit of a materialistic lifestyle making us happy? What effect is this lifestyle having on the planet? 